the reputable New York Post. All right, these are all, this is all shit, but hey, plus size model calls out Delta over seatbelt length in parentheses, quote, figure it out. And there's a little picture on the right that shows her not being able to get the seatbelt over her, over her fat gut. No need to stop being a lady. All right. Quit worrying. You'll be back on your knees in no time. All right. She didn't like their one belt fits all policy. One belt fits all. Well, one belt fits most unless you're morbidly obese, unless you're carrying extra human on you, unless you're many humans on one person. Yeah, it fits all. It's a seat belt. It's a fucking belt. My God, it's a belt. A plus size model is going viral after shaming Delta for allegedly having, quote, scrawny seat belts that apparently don't fit around her waist. Let me tell you, the seat belts aren't skinny. You're just fat. You're just fat. That's a huge bitch. Like when you get so big that a fucking full blown seat belt is looks tiny. If you're so fat that a seat belt is scrawny to you, well, there's your answer right there. Uh, the seat belt can't change its size, but you sure can. Quote Delta, figure it out, wrote Bader. This is Remy Bader, never heard of her, but I guess we're gonna hear more. In the subtitle to the clip, which she posted on Sunday for her 2.1 million followers. How did these morbidly obese, unhealthy models? generate this much fucking of a following. This just shows how much of a huge pussy everyone is. Like, oh, let me follow this chick that's just brainwashed to think that rolling across the ground is healthy for you. In her latest clip, the fashionista can be seen failing to fasten the seat belts, the airline seatbelt around her lap. She captioned it, and no, I shouldn't need to ask for an extender. Yes, you should. That's why they're called extenders, because if you can't fucking fit that around you, you need an extender. Hey <laughs> All right. I better use my strong hand. Very nice. That's why they're called extenders. That's why they're called extenders. So you can extend them if you need them. They should just be fatter. You're still going to need extenders because you're just going to keep on growing, ain't you, girl? The peanut gallery seemed to, uh, the peanut gallery agreed. The peanut gallery agreed seemed to second her assessment. The guy, they, what is wrong with people's grammar? You can't even write properly in a fucking newspaper. Uh, being a size 14 should know it. Well, whatever. Let's see. So let's see. Quote someone defending her post. Yes. Why is asking for an extender even a thing? Just make the belts more accommodating. Hmm. Others offered theories on why the accessory was so constricting. Quote, when the seatbelts get damaged, they trim them instead of replacing the whole thing. Postulated one armchair traveler. This is why the length is so inconsistent. Has anyone else found inconsistency in airplane seatbelts? No. Inconsistency? The lengths are all different. I've never had problems with the length. It might be twisted because people just jam it into the thing and like they twist and stuff like that. So unwrap, it's not a problem. Um, according to the points guy, it's a travel review site. Delta's seatbelts, ready? Range in size from 40 to 45 inches 40 to 45 inches that's shorter than american airlines and jet blues belts which measure from 45 to 47 inches oh my god southwest's belt which clocks in at just 39 inches oh my god southwest you know isn't it interesting that southwest is just 39 you think southwest would be like 55 if you know you know holy shit if 45 inches is not enough for you, <laughs> if 45 is not enough, uh, yeah, just get the extender because um, n you, you're not helping yourself. Other people have to help you, right? Other people have to pick up your fucking, your mess.